Good morning, totally dazzled fans. Just gonna pull you up on the phone. Okay. Hello, Rosalyn. Hello, Debbie and Sue. What's going on, everyone? Hello, Nancy. I'll go back here. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Hello, Mildred and Peggy and Helen. Hello, Enza. Happy Wednesday. Kathy at Royal Funky Junk here with some totally dazzled. Hello, y'all. Hi, Angela. Hey, Michelle. Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon for some of us. It's 12 o'clock here in Ohio on this kind of blue sky guy with lots of clouds but it's cold a whopping 37 degrees i did forget my apron i remembered like a half an hour ago when i came up here and then i forgot it again ha! thank you helen hi rachel good morning from florida dolores hello kathy duggar peace what's going on sisters hey april all right y'all i feel like i'm a little high here i got my apron out now y'all Anyhow, all right, we're going to do um, an Easter block, an Easter knife block makeover. Yes, 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 ma'am. I'm so excited. I love doing these. Um, good morning, Gail. Hi, Debbie. Hey, Regina and Lisa and Suzanne. What's going on from Virginia? Hi, Priscilla. Okay, so I have lots of these. I do a lot of these. Um, hey, Phyllis, I do a lot of these knife block makeovers. You can get these at your local Goodwill or thrift stores or, or all the places in between. Um, I did clean it with some Dawn dish soap when I first got it. This has been in my attic for a while. Um, I, I have like a plethora of these. Hi, Phyllis. <sighs> Thank you, Kathy. I like these too. So I don't have an Easter one and I want to decorate for Easter. Um, I, we are hosting Easter at our house this year. Uh, my family, Mike's family. No, Mickey, I forgot the apron. Somebody had to remind me. Thank you all for doing that. Hey, Linda. Hey, Carolyn. So anyway, what I like to do first, and I'm going to show you some uh, decoupage paper that we're going to be using on it. And then we are also going to be using the totally dazzled Easter packs that are available. There is only a few available, so you guys got to get on it. The link is in the video description. Hi, Carol. Hi, Linda. Um, hello, Pat. And so these, I think there's, it's only a limited edition, y'all, for the Easter packs. If you don't have it, you want to get yours now. They have little carrots. They have little bunny heads. They come in all the colors, uh, the bronze, the silver, the rose gold. Here's a rose gold cross um, and the gold. So they come in all the colors. Cute little things. Hey, Molly Babcock. What's going on, sister? Um, thank you guys for sparkling out the dazzle. I'm thirsty. It's been go, go, go this morning. And do y'all know what happened when I woke up this morning? I didn't have any creamer for my coffee. So I am going on without coffee. And, um, hello, Diana Simmons. Yeah, no coffee for this girl. I had green tea instead. So I'm a little pee. Um, anyway, we are going to paint this white because we're going to decoupage some uh, papers on it. Um, I feel like I have to sneeze. Every time I come up into my room, I sneeze. Hold on a second. Bit two. Bit two. Oh, excuse me. I think I'm allergic to something up here. Lisa, you just got your Easter pack. That's awesome. This is a totally dazzled session, Lisa. Um, <clears throat> hey, Shonda. Michelle, you got your Easter packs already. That's awesome. Hey, Karen. So after I lost my page a couple weeks ago, we're doing things a little bit different. I am going live on Funky Junk, but I am cross-posting to Totally Dazzled. So we are picking uh, three names today from the Totally Dazzled um, page. And <clears throat> and uh, we are, and if I call your name, you need to email hello at totallydazzled.com, okay? Um, hey, Linda. Hi, Grace. Hello, Creations by Linda R. M. Welcome. What's going on? So the paper I'm using today, we're going to use four different kinds of paper. <clears throat> I think it's because of all the fuzz that flies around this room. Um, this is from Digital Deco Designs. Um, 
Look at this one. We're going to use this one. We are going to use this one. Aren't these so pretty and springy? I'm so excited Easter's coming. That means, you know, that spring is coming. Good morning, Sybil. Hello, Marlis. Good morning, Patty. Hello, Mary Beth. Hello, Nadine. We're going to be using this paper. And then for the front of the knife block, we are going to use this little guy right here. Good morning, Doreen. Good morning, Melinda. <clears throat> so that's what we're going to be doing. So the first thing, if you have a knife block and you want to make it over, let me make sure you guys can see me. Um, just going to move it down just a tad. Move this over. I think you guys, I always like to have, it's a different view from my iPad to my phone. So I always like to make sure that I have everything square for you. Um, I, can you believe it? I know I ordered two half hams yesterday. We got about 20 to 25 people coming over uh, for Easter Sunday. So, um, thank you for sprinkling Sybil. Hi, Linda. Hey, Nene. Uh, hey, Cat Stone. First time watching from Nebraska. Welcome. We all like to have new sparkle chicks in the house. So I am Kathy Oil Funky Junk. I'm all about like recycling and making the old new. And we're going to make over this just plain wood knife block. And um, I'm going to start out. I did wash some brushes this morning. I still have to wash the lot. If you guys saw the brushes in front of me sitting in water, you would be like, oh. hello, Lynette. Hello, Sharon. Yeah, so that's the papers from Digital Deco Designs. Kathy at Digital Deco Designs. She's a sweet peach. Uh, thank you, Lisa. Good morning, Sandra. Good morning, Tony. Okay, so I just washed it. It's still a little wet, but I'm going... OMG, I don't have any paper towels. Or I don't have any... Can you guys hang on a minute? I gotta go grab... I am so in order. I need a paper plate to put my paint on. Hang on, y'all. Two seconds. I forget my head if it wasn't attached. I'm not kidding. Ha! See, I, I read your mind. I was like, Marco, real life here, guys. Every week it's something new. It never fails. Okay, I'm going to grab some chalk paint. I'm So my youngest son got his temporary driver's permit the other day. So he's like, Mom, can we go driving today? He's on spring break. So I said, you know what? I got to go to the Hobby Lobby. I have put my brushes in the dishwasher basket before. I have done that. So this is just plain white paint from Folk Art. Always works good for me. Now I'm out of breath. I ran all the way downstairs in my kitchen, grabbed a whole thing of paper plates. Ah, hello, Sparkle Mountain Creations. Good morning, Diane. All right, this should be enough. You just want to put a nice, bright, see, I'm out of white paint. You just want to put a nice, bright, white background if you're going to be decoupaging. Oh, you need that buddy? Yes, that did that yesterday. And then that turn out so cute, so cute. Oh, it's exciting. It's nerve wracking to have a new driver in the house. I'm not kidding, it gives me anxiety. But he's actually a really good driver. Um, he's actually a pretty, pretty good driver. Okay, so I'm just going to, this is a paint pixie brush. I like these brushes a lot. You gave them, I know. Uh, the dishwasher actually worked really great um, washing my brushes, um, but I usually just hand wash them. I put I put my phone up, I watch a little a little crime TV. This morning, I while I was getting ready, I started to watch, um, how many of you are following that girl? The, let's talk some some TV. The, the girl that's uh, saying she's Madeline McCann, the girl that got kidnapped in Portugal like in 16 years ago. I watched that documentary a couple years ago, so I was like, no, I don't know how I feel, but I'm curious to see what the DNA is going to say. So see how we're just doing a nice white coat. Oh, Jamie, you'll love these brushes. They are great. They are really, they're, they're nice brushes. I like them. So I'm just painting this all. This is just regular chalk paint, y'all. We are going to seal it anyway um, after we get it all the paper on. 
And then the front part is all the bling. If you know me, I'm a bling girl. Oh, you hadn't heard about that girl? She's saying that she's, she's Madeline McCann. Now, a lot of people are going to ask me, is this uh, food safe? Let me tell you all, guys, I don't think this paint is food safe, but I will be the first to tell you, I have done many knife blocks. I have one for each occasion in my house. I don't think I have an Easter one now. If I do, I don't remember what it looks like because I haven't pulled out my Easter stuff yet. Um, and I haven't decorated for Easter in a couple years because I'm always in Florida. So, um, but I have knife blocks um, and I've never had a problem. You know, you're not really painting down on the inside and I'm a rule breaker and a risk taker anyway, so I'm just going for it. Uh, I did get this shirt from Chris Hunter's shop, yes, a couple years ago. So I got one coat of paint on here. Let's dry it. And then um, we'll probably give it another coat. What is Marilyn McCann in the... Yeah, that was the little, the British girl. Yes, that's exactly who that was. Uh, Patty, secret to de decoupage, use rice paper. This is, I love to decoupage with rice paper. I have affiliates with Digital Deco Designs, which is the paper that I'm using today. There's Reba Rose Creations. There's Decoupage Queen. Uh, there's Would You Bend. Um, it's heavier. It doesn't wrinkle like a tissue tissue page, like a tissue paper does. I don't know if they found her. There's a girl uh, claiming to be her, but she has the same little mark in her eye and everything. So I'm interested to see um, if it's her, but I was watching that. Dr. Phil had it on. He had her on already. Thank you, Tony. DNA would tell. She gave a DNA too, so I'm, I'm curious to see what the whole story is. I mean, a part of me wants to say it's her because, you know, that's every parent's worst nightmare. But then part of me is like, I just don't know. Uh, rice paper is so much easier to decoupage with. Um, it's literally a game changer. You don't get wrinkles. Um, I mean, you might get some if you're doing it like on a, like a curved round surface, but I'm all about the perfectly imperfect, so I say go with it if you get a wrinkle. Um, I know some of my creative friends are are non-wrinkly people. <laughs> um, I always say go with the perfectly imperfect because, you know, I kind of like the character that they give when they are a little imperfect, but that's just me, y'all. Um, so I'm just putting two coats of this on here. And the reason you want to paint it white is because you really want a nice... Your paper and your design is going to show up a lot better um, if you're going over. I do have a hair in there. I thought I did. Most of my projects come with the dog hair. Yep, everybody gets either a brush hair or a dog hair somewhere. Uh, good morning. Good morning, Angie. Sybil, you have a knife block you want to redo? Guys, you can get so creative. And there's so many great papers, napkins. You can do transfers, a rub-on transfer onto a knife block. Um, the one I have in my kitchen for the most part all year is one with a pinup girl, a little cowboy pinup girl. You know, my husband likes the whole Western vibe. We have a, a lot of Western motif in our house. And... Uh, and I'm just going to paint that. I just do a thing. I don't put paper up here. I'm going to put paper here on the flat parts, but not on the part that the knife goes through. All right, so I think we have another hair over here. But that's right. We're going to cover that up with paper anyway. And typically, I don't usually do the part that's underneath because you're not going to see it anyway. Okay. Hey, Barbara Anderson. Hi, Dolores. Sharon, I had that same problem today. Have you ever put in mold of some sort on a knife holder? I've put like bling. I've put like decorative. Would you then trim? Yes, I have done a lot of that. Hey, Shanna. I have done a lot of that on my a cowboy drag racer, right? Um, I have done a lot of different things on my knife blocks. I have done many, 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 many of them. Um, but yeah, you will love making them over. Oh, you're so welcome, Angie. Yeah, I like, well, come on. I'm a bling girl. I'm all about sparkle here at Royal Funky Junk, so, you know. I am all about that. 
So you just want to get it nice and dry. And these are so easy. I mean, you can do these with some. You can get your own plain right rice paper, put like a wedding picture, you put a wedding invitation. You can really customize these to however you want. Same with the trays. I like re refunking junk. Refunking with an N, okay. Hey Susie. It was cow stuff a lot, huh? Yeah, wow, that was just that was when I was doing that maybe when you first started watching me. I do all kinds of stuff. I don't uh, we did our laundry room, bathroom over, and we did a, a, like a Western game. So I do, a, I go in spurts. I do a lot, I do a lot of stuff. Good morning, Jody. Thank you, Gail. Hi, Kimberly. So it's all dry. So I know on this big part right here um, is where I want to put the big image. But while we're doing that, I'm going to scroll and we're going to pick our name number one. I'm not going to look. I'm just scrolling back and forth. And we have, oh, that's an ad. Gail Huckleberry Meadows. Gail Huckleberry Meadows. Congrats. You need to email hello at totallydazzled.com and send them, let them know your mailing address. They'll get you out some sparkle mail. Um, rice, yes, rice. See, it's kind of heavier. Um, and it's just a great. So this, again, is from Digital Deco Designs. And all I'm going to do is, you know what, I'm just gonna wing it. I like to decoupage, my new favorite decoupage medium is the um, Posh Chalk Pigment Infuser from Would You Bend. Um, you're welcome, Gail, congratulations. So I just go in with a brush and super easy, put a nice thin coat just on the front. So yeah, it's hello at totallydazzled.com. And I'm going right here, just a nice thin coat of this Posh Chalk Infuser. It's not thick like Mod Podge. Um, and I'm just going to kind of like put this in front of me, like so. And I want to make sure I get the bunny kind of centered. And you just kind of have to eyeball it. And I think that's good, just there. And you just press it on. It's so stinking easy. Hello, Rose. Cajun Flare Crafty Creation. See, no wrinkles. Just press it down. And then what I like to do is I get a really coarse sanding block. And I just file away like so. And you will see that it is the perfect fit and then I'm going to do the same thing to the top and all the sides and see how nice it rips it's part and I do have one little wrinkle there you could just kind of comb that out with your fingernail it's good to go it's good to go you just put your fourth order in hey Rita hey Andy I know they're so cute she does great graphics now see that lifted a little bit, but don't worry about it. I'm not. If you find that it lifts a little bit, just go back in with your brush and throw a little bit more of your decoupage medium underneath there. And seriously, look at y'all. See what a difference already? You got a cute little Easter bunny there. I did feel that lifting on one corner. What corner? Right there. So all you do is I'm gonna take my brush and just kind of go back in there just like that and just check and I'm gonna I'll seal it last after I get it all done but look at how cute that is already big glass bow tie separate oh I love those ones uh, Linda this rice paper came from digital deco designs it's in my link tree at unroyal funky junk you can find that so now we're gonna move on to the next side and for the sides, I'm going to use these two papers right here, okay? Little coordinating colors. I figured it'd be cute. So we'll go with this one first, and all I'm going to do is kind of lay this down. Now, I'm going to put a paper towel underneath so my messy turntable doesn't scratch our thing. And all I'm going to do is I just kind of line it up like so, 
under where you want it and then you just cut it again with the with the um, paper. So I'm going in with my decoupage medium again, just laying that on there. Sorry, my nose is itchy. And when you're using rice paper, it is kind of fibrous because there's little fibers in there. And when I start sanding it, I make it like the stuff flies around the room and that's when my nose starts to itch. I think there's just all kinds of fluff in my craft room. All right, so you get that on there and all I'm gonna do is eyeball it. Um, just like so. And I make sure to get right in that seam, you know, that goes up the block and just press it all down like so and then get your sanding block and just follow the shape of your block and you can keep these other little pieces I have like a drawer a dresser drawer up here and you can keep these and you can use those for other projects so don't throw those away and then here I'm just going to, again, follow the shape of the block and tear that away, and it tears beautifully. I mean, it just, it makes a seamless, seamless um, thing. And I love using rice paper. If this was napkins, you've never used rice paper yet? Oh my gosh, girlfriend, you gotta go get some. It's so, if you love to decoupage, like decoupage is so versatile, you can, there's so much good decoupage paper out there, like truly. Um, and then I'm just going to see. Now here I'm going to grab a pair of scissors and just kind of go in here a little bit. I didn't get that. Oh, could you try again? Oh, my watch is talking to me. <laughs> so funny. Put off black. No, it does not. I get these from Harbor Freight. I got like a big box of them. And I just try to get up in that corner so my, my sanding block will get in there. Or you can get your sanding blocks. I just make sure it's a real coarse sanding block. Um, and I mine does not leave a black grip, so no. I've never had that happen. And uh, Home Depot has some too. So I wanna get that a little bit there. And don't worry if any like paint and stuff come off. Okay, so we have this side done. Look at how stinking cute that is. Look at, so we go from one side to the other. You just decorate all the sides. It's so pretty. It's got, I made sure to get this little, whatever this is, teapot in there. Sandy blocks from Harbor Freight. Who doesn't love Harbor Freight? Everybody, um, they're amazing. Sma oh, what's a smash can, Teresa? I don't know what a smash can is. So again, on this side, we're gonna do the same thing. We are just going to, thank you, Barbara. We're just gonna be laying on some more. I like doing, I you know, I don't like to do multiples of the same things, but I can do multiple trays, multiple knife blocks, multiple coasters, stuff like that, because they're all different, because you can make them all different with the different designs. I don't, I couldn't make 30 of these exact same ones, but I, I do like to play around with them. So same thing, I wanna get this little blue cart down here. And all I'm gonna do is try to get it on down here at the bottom and just make sure that my white edging is not coming into play. And again, that little seam, take that all the way up and just smooth it down. And then just same as before, take your sanding block and sand it away. And see that? And save those bigger pieces. It's like a game changer. You can refab anything with decoupage paper. You can do trays. I've done so much stuff. Oh, Mary Beth, that's good. I get my husband loves Harbor Freight. He's always at Harbor Freight. Um, so again, I'm just gonna cut that right there. to get in and then I'm gonna do here. And you can, I've got, I've done Christmas ones. I've got a Halloween knife block. I've got the everyday knife block. I've got, what else do I have? A Valentine's one. 
And you know, when you go to like the Goodwill, they have these like in little ones, they have big ones, they have metal ones or those black plasticky ones. I like the, the wood ones. I don't know if I've ever done a plastic one, but you can find knife blocks just about anywhere. So there's one side, there's that side. You flip it over and look at how stinking cute that is. So, um, hi Ruby. Okay, so now we're gonna do the back. Now I typically don't do here or here. I'm gonna do this one and this one. And for this one, we are going to use this little bunny up here, right here. I'm gonna put him right here, okay? So all I'm gonna do is kind of figure out where he's gonna go. And then I'm gonna cut this right here because I wanna use those flowers up top for this part right here. So I'm going to go in with my Posh Chalk Infuser again. And put a nice thin coat, and that's why I love this Posh Chalk. Mod Podge is so thick, you get a lot of bump, bumps. Um, this actually works out really great. And all I'm gonna do is make sure I get my bunny on there and just press it down. I wanted to make sure I had all his ears on there. Press that down. Thank you, Sybil. Hey, Becky. And I'm just gonna do the same thing. It's super easy. Okay. Do the bottom. See how nice that tears? It's so great. And and then right here towards the front. Just be careful because I don't want to I don't want to peel any of my paint off. So you just kind of get in there. See? So we have it decorated all the way around. See how cute? So it's 360 degree, depending on how you have it on your counter. Mine typically sit like on our bar area. So this face is like the kitchenette, this face is like the inside of the kitchen. Um, you take yours all the way, you can, I've done that before too, um, but for this one, I am not going to. So all I'm gonna do here is I wanna put these flowers up here. So yeah, I want the flowers. So I'm gonna do this and then I'm just gonna kinda lay it in there and I'm just gonna take my finger like that and then that's where I know I need to cut because she could probably just tear it. That's but I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it with my scissors. Real straight so I can get right up in there like so. Oh, you're waiting until your she shed is done? Heck yeah. This is my she shed. I would love to have like a real she shed, but I don't have one yet. Um I'm just gonna trim this a little bit. Okay, and the same thing, we're gonna go back in. It doesn't take long at all, and that's the fun part. You can like literally have one, go to your Goodwill, y'all. Every time I walk into a Goodwill, there is a knife block there, I'm not kidding. And all I'm gonna do is just press that right up to there, press it down, just like so. Now, you could have, I could have just ran this paper all the way up. Jeez, Louise, look at that. Hey. To what? What kind of screwdriver? There you go. That's my son. Hello, Mama Rhonda. C can you take Gus out of here, please? He eats stuff. He's got to go. Go, Gus. Get. Get. All right, shut the door. That's my little uh, corgi. He eats everything. That wasn't Rocky. Rocky's not coming up here today. It's windy outside and he gets scared up here. He acts like a big, you know, bad to the bone dog, but he does not like wind. He gets scared of wind. That was Gus. Um, okay. Uh, what do you guys see? This one, there's a knife block in it. Oh, go back and get it, Sandra. Oh, you don't have, what about like eBay or Amazon? Amazon, I mean, you're gonna pay a little bit more. These typically are like three or four bucks. Oh, I can't wait to show you the bling too. Okay, so we have all of our decoupage paper on, okay? Now, if you wanted to, I could have gone in here and decoupage that and all you would do is take like a knife and just kind of saw through there. 
Um, but I'm going to leave that one open. I am going to put some dark wax on here. But before I dark wax that, I'm going to take my Posh Chalk Infuser. Oh, that's awesome, Sherry. Um, I'm going to seal all this paper down, and I'm just going to go over it with a coat of the Posh Chalk um, Infuser just to seal that paper down. And then if you wanted to have a nice shiny finish, which I typically like, I'll go over it with, um, after we're done putting our wax on and whatnot, I will go over and I will seal it with a coat of um, um, Triple Thick Duraclear Mix. I like the shine that the Triple Thick Duraclear Mix gives a lot. It, it's like a real shine. This is more of a matte finish which is fine too, it just depends on what you want, um, how you want it to look. Did I do that one, and did I do that one? I did do that one. Okay, so I gotta do the side. So this is just protecting our paper, um, making sure that it's not gonna lift, it's not gonna you know, peel away, and you wanna make sure you get all around the edges. And this dries super fast. And then I gotta do, oh, I already did that, I'm leaving my fingerprints everywhere. Sometimes it's tricky, because you don't wanna get. So this goes on beautifully, and then we'll dry it, and then I'm sealing everywhere on it, because when I put some dark wax on the top, if you put dark wax on something that hasn't been sealed, then it always looks different. So you gotta make sure, you, I, I like to do the whole thing, just to be on the safe side of caution. And then our big main bunny here. And maybe I won't put triple thick dirt clear. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I, I, it just depends on what kind of look you're going for. Okay. It's fuzz flying around. You can't wait to do yours. Hi, Cindy, I'm good. You picked up some trays. That is awesome. All right, now. The, the rice paper is like I said, like it's fibrous. I get like stuff flying around up my nose all the time. So I'm just gonna dry what we did and then I'll hold it up for you guys to see. See it dries super quick. And in no time at all, I mean, the difference between this and what we started with is pretty. Oops, I got one of my paper towels want to stick. But look at how pretty. See? Isn't that so pretty? So you've got like just a 360 degree view of. Um, oh, they had three. Becky, I hope you got it. I like. I know I like shiny too. So we'll see. I am gonna go ahead and grab my favorite wax. I use the Bear Wax. I get it from the Home Depot. Um, Lisa, I use the Posh Chalk Pigment Infuser. Love this. Posh Chalk, I gotta wash my brushes. I gotta stick, stick this one down in there. I don't want it to dry out. Posh Chalk Pigment Infuser, thank you, Gail. Um, so now I'm just gonna go in with, um, I just, I just keep using my old chip brushes for wax. I go in with a little bit of clear, and then I go in with a little bit of dark, and then I go back into my clear. Now this is just gonna give it that antique set. To use it, I guess, heck yeah, I use it to hold my knives. Yes, I do. You guys like it? It is a change, and you can do these in so many different ways. So I'm just gonna go on and take this part right here, this wax, I'm just going to kind of lay on this bright white part that we didn't put decoupage paper on. And see how it just kind of softens it up a little bit. Now, if you wanted to, you can even put some on your paper and see how it just kind of softened it just a little bit, just almost like dry brush and then buff it out, it just kind of gives it, I like that old vintage look. Um, so I kind of like put it on 
and then just kind of rub it all on there and it just kind of gives it a softening not a lot because I'm not doing a lot just a little softening effect like so and so see how it just toned that down just a tad and that's why I went over it with the sealer because the wax will react differently to something that hasn't been sealed to something that's just straight on paper so I always like to give it a whirl and see so it just kind of toned it down kind of got some wax along the sides and it just kind of gives it that soft kind of I don't know what you call that antique look all right now I'm done with that I'm trying to be a neat crafter today oh you could totally crackle it yes you can crackle it with the Pentart Fine Line Crackle Varnish. If you guys want me to do that, I would be more than happy to do it for you. Um, we could crackle the images. That would be kind of cool. But I, I just wax it, so I don't know. I don't know if you can wax. But see, now it's kind of flat. So now I like the color, but I think I do want to put the Triple Thick Duraclear Mix over it. So I have some here in my cup that's already uh, mixed together. So... I'm going to grab another brush here and I am going to put the shiny stuff on it, which is three parts triple thick, two parts Duraclear. Okay. Um, hey, Jenny. Now you can use a silk after you wax. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, you can, I do, I will put the triple thick Duraclear right over the wax. Yes, I've done it a thousand and one times before. Um, so I'm going to take my brush and I've got the triple thick Duraclear mix already here. It's three parts triple thick to two parts Duraclear. And you're going to see, see how flat that looks. There's no shine to it. So when you go over with the triple thick Duraclear, it's going to dry it. And now if you wanted to, you can crackle it. I don't know that crackling would work directly on top of wax but that now see how shiny it is and that's going to even give it even more durability i'm going to do the sides and i don't know i like shiny things i like sparkly shiny things and this is just going to be one more layer of protection and it's going to trap all that wax in there that we just put in so i don't know that's just how i do things you can try and experiment i just like I said, I'm a risk taker, rule breaker. Okay, so that side's done. We'll go back and do this side. Oh, it's all splattering off, but that's okay. We're in my workspace. How are you guys digging it? And right when I'm done with this, we'll go ahead and pick our second name. Make sure you got it all on there. It's so pretty. This dries super fast. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this side. Yeah, I love the shine on it too, Sybil. That's why I like this combination. Um, and you can find this stuff at Hobby Lobby. Um, Michaels has Triple Thick and Duraclear. Triple Thick is super, super, thick and that's why when you mix it with the Duraclear it tones it down some okay so now we got that all squared and put away and this is how I store my triple thick Duraclear when I go to Hobby Lobby today I'm gonna buy some of those um, I'm gonna buy some of those uh, like canning jars the small canning jars and store my stuff in there so I just want to dry it. it takes a couple minutes to dry but then when it's dry it's dry and it'll have that that nice shine to it so it's already dry up here do you guys want me to crackle it no I don't have a problem with the triple thick getting lumpy I make sure I stir it, you know, give it a whirl. So 
But it dries really fast, so that's why I'm just making sure you'll be able to tell. I just don't want to put a fingerprint on it. Okay. And you don't want to go over it. Like if you're putting your, your triple thick Duracrete on, you don't want to keep going over it. Just put it on and let it go. Um, Triple thick, it's three parts triple thick to two parts Duraclear. That's what I use. And as you can, I know it might be kind of hard because like, but do you see the shine on it now? Do you see how shiny it is now? It might be kind of hard because my window's open, but it's got a beautiful sheen to it that I really like. It just looks more finished. Um, oh, you guys want me to crackle it? Make it crackle? Oh, you guys want me to stick around? Squirt bottle's another good idea, too. Yeah, do the crackle. Okay. All right. Oh, let's pick our second name. All right, so I'm going to scroll back. Scroll up. Rebecca Douglas. Rebecca Douglas, you are my number two, and you need to email hello at totallydazzle.com. Your mailing address. How exciting, congratulations. Mason jars be cheaper at Walmart? Yeah, probably. The vintage bunny needs some crackle. Did you do a simple, I did, oh, that was last year. I took that out of my kitchen because I got a new crucifix that I put up there in place of that. So yes, I did that last year. Uh, oh, Doreen, I learned it from Debbie Rigg at Studio MDAZ and it does, it really is great. Okay, so this looks good. It's all dry. Um, Crackle it. You guys really want me to crackle it. Okay, so crackle. I just discovered this like not too long ago and I'm like totally obsessed with it. So um, the only thing is though, I don't think that I want to crackle it with the gold. I think I want to crackle it. Let's do the sides first. So this is from fine, this is Pent Art Fine Line Crackle Varnish. You can find this on my link tree under the TH Decor ATL link. And this is the component number one, okay? Component number one. Okay. It's garbage. Okay. Make sure I have one more brush. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So you're just going to dip in with this fine line varnish. Okay, we're crackling it. And you're going to take your component number one, and you are just going to... Paint it on. I know it's going to be scary uh, because you're covering up. It's almost like Mod Podge, okay? That's the consistency of this product. Um, it has that same milky white look to it. You don't need to do the whole surface. Maybe on the bunny, we'll just do the bunny. Um, so you can play around with it. And you're just, but on the sides, let's go for a whole crackle look on the sides. And you just put it on okay now the directions tell you to let it sit overnight well if you guys know me at all you know I ain't got time for that right um, I did wax it but I already put sealer over it so if you're gonna crackle you have to put sealer the fact that I put uh, crackle over the uh, triple thick dirt clear mixture is okay because um, I don't think I would have done this crackle over the wax itself but being that we went over the wax with the sealer, I'm not worried about it. Wax almost sometimes, you know, makes stuff fall off. So I'm just putting it on here. And this is where it gets a little time. We're gonna be using the hair, uh, the, the heat for a hot minute. At, I wanna say five to 10 minutes, you're just gonna be drying this. And like the directions say, let it sit overnight. Well, y'all know me. <laughs> Not gonna happen. I have zero patience to watch paint dry or anything dry. Um, it is scary, but I promise you it's amazing. Okay, so now we're just gonna dry it until it's clear. And it's gonna look like you put nothing on it. I promise. I'm actually going to see if I can pick this up and get rid of that. And you don't wanna put your heat like directly real close 
high pat. You just kind of want to keep it always moving. Always moving. And you don't want to put it like in one spot for very long, okay? So you're just going to go around. I just keep spinning it. And over time, when this starts to dry, as you can see, it's going to, um, it's going to dry clear. And you can see it's already starting to get clear. I'm going to turn my fan on too. Sometimes I think like even having a fan running behind, you know, kind of helps. But I'm just not letting it sit for very long. I'm just kind of doing my thing, helping it along. It's going to be amazing. I think so. Isn't it cute though? And maybe just for the front, maybe we'll just crackle the bunny. But I don't know. Let's see what the sides look like. It depends on what, what you fill in the crackle with. You could probably try the dark wax or an antiquing paste. Always works good. So see how it's starting to dry clear? Can you guys see that? Oh, you haven't seen me do the crackle finish yet? Yeah, I did a DIY on my page last week. Um, yes, it, exactly simple. I got this on Amazon. It's a Genesis. So you can see how it's starting to dry and you're gonna have your thicker parts so that takes a little bit longer just you have this is the this is the hard part for me this is the uh, the part where I have to have patience so see some parts are starting to see how there's still a little bit of white spots there that's what you just gotta you gotta be Patient. And this fine line crackle will give it an immense shine. It's super, super shiny. They also have another one that's called Classic Crackle. It's smaller crackles, but you won't get the shine that is with the fine line. The fine line crackle is lots and lots of shine. I don't know what the difference is, but I like it a lot. Uh, hey, Kelly Roloff, first time viewer, welcome. I promise you we're doing more exciting things than just watching the paint dry. But you got to get all of that like milky stuff, you know, dry. So that's where um, you just got to do what you got to do. Now, while we let that dry, if you guys think maybe we should just go ahead and crackle this whole thing. Do you guys want to? Because while that's drying, we could just go in and do the other two sides. Um, why not, right? What do we got to lose? Let's just crackle the whole gosh darn thing. So now, while the other two sides sit there and finish up, I'm going to go ahead and do this bunny side. And I am, like, fairly new to this crackle, so I don't know. I don't... I don't know how it crackles. I don't know. I've tried it like with a thick coat. I've tried it with a thin coat and it still produces the same kind of crackle. So I'm not sure like if there's a way to produce a different form of crackle, if that makes sense. I don't know that. Um, it is really cute. So now I'm not going to do like where the knives go. I'm just going to do the images. Even though I probably could do that too, but I'm just going to give it a little bit of differentiation. Okay, so we're going in with the component number one. This is the Pentart Crackle. Component number one. Got to get this to all dry before we put on component number two. And then you're going to watch the magic happen. It's very, very cool. 
Oh, they do. See, I've never tried that kind of crackle. I know that there's you can crackle with like Elmer's glue, but that's with paint. I never knew you could crackle like an actual image to give it that old world vibe. So see, I want to say maybe, let's see, so we just started drying. Let's see how long it takes. Five to ten minutes you're going to be drying. And see, this is what you don't want. Like it's starting to bubble right there. That's what you don't want to get. I'm trying to press that out. See, that's still those two thick parts right there at the bottom. You want that to be like clear. Or if you're doing this late at night, you can throw this on and then just come back to it in the morning. There's two components, Debbie. Hey, Trisha. There's two components. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Maureen. It is cool. I'm telling it's like my new favorite thing. See, that's bubbling right there. You don't want to do that. So that's why you just got to let those thicker parts. I, I set the heat on there. You don't want to do it. You always want to move your heat around. It just takes time. Marco! Uh, yes, um, or you can use like a hair dryer. A hair dryer. Um, A fan maybe I've only used it with the this right here Gianna when I was crackling with her the other day she used the hair dryer it worked well so see we're going on now through so it's about five to ten minutes cargo yes ma'am I can so it's from Pentart you can find it on my on my link tree in TH decor ATL the fine line crackle varnish component one and then this is the component two and they come in a kit they come in small bottles like this and then they come i i ordered the kit that was in the bigger you know the bigger jars these are 230 milliliters but they do come in a kit so see now we're going on about four minutes i'm going to say a good 10 minutes hey trina All right, so see, now this is finally starting to clear up over here. So we just got to be patient. See, I don't know how to do it with Mod Podge. Um, I only know how to, you know, I'm not sure about all of that. I know I've done the crackle, like, where I've painted something like a dark blue, put Elmer's blue, and then white paint, and then it crackled all the blue underneath. Um, Gloria, it came from a TH Decor ATL on my link tree. On Royal Funky Junk's link tree. Alright, so we're, I think we can do part two over here. This is still part one. The sides that we did, I think, are pretty good to go. We can do our part two on. And even the bunny, see how it's just all, like, there's still a little bit down here. But we can go ahead and probably apply part two to the two sides that we did. This looks pretty good. There's one little spot right there. I can't tell if that's the paper. So see, it's just patience. Okay, so we got that. Let me see if I can pick it up. So see how we got the part one on. It's clear. It's super shiny, y'all. So see how shiny it is? That's with the part one. Now it's not crackled yet. So I am going to, where do we start? Let's do it this side. And now you're going to go in with the fine line crackle component part two. Okay. Hi, Angie. And this kind of, it has a weird smell. It kind of smells like honey. I'm not going to lie. Kind of smells, reminds me of honey. 
So I'm going to go in on this side. You're going to dip in, get a brush, and all you're going to do is brush this on just like we did component one. I can't say I like the smell or I do like the smell. I don't know. It just has a weird odor, but it's not bad. It just smells like honey. Okay, so that's that side. I This is all dry at the front, so we can go ahead and throw our component number two on this size. Yeah, you always want to seal before you do the crackle. Yes, I know that for sure. And it's almost like watching magic happen when this starts to dry and it starts to crackle. At first, you get like really nervous, like, oh my gosh, it's not crackling. Did I ruin it? No, it will happen. Trust me. I'm going to go in here. And again, I've tried around giving, I've tried this like giving it a thick coat, a heavy coat. I'm just brushing it on y'all. I'm not, I can't say it's thick. I can't say it's light. I mean, you definitely want to get it on there, but I still haven't mastered like how to get, or, or I, I don't really know if there is a way. It's just going to crackle. I guess it just crackles however it wants to crackle. I don't know. But the times that I did a thin coat and a thicker coat, the crackles all came out the same. So I'm thinking that there is no right or wrong way to apply this. Okay, so now we got our component two all the way around, okay? Put the lid on. It totally changes your project. Like this is exciting. Same thing. Another five minutes probably. Um, and I'm just gonna keep spinning it on my turntable. And you, it, oh, I wanna say it's about five minutes in where it actually starts to crackle. And at first, like, I get nervous. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's not crackling. I screwed it up. But it will crackle. I promise. And I wish you guys could see when it does start to crackle, it's hard to get on camera. But again, you want to keep your heat moving around. You don't want to keep your heat like on one spot. Just keep your heat moving. Or you can let this sit overnight and it will do its thing too. We're just kind of helping it along with the heat. And it's when it starts to dry, I don't see crackles yet. I get so impatient. If you put a second coat of the crackle, you get fine. Yeah, now see, this is fine line crackle. They also have classic crackle, but it creates really tiny, tiny cracks. I'm glad you guys like it. Yeah, my arm's gonna work out. Oh, okay, it's starting to crackle. I see the crackles. This is the exciting part. Um, not on that one yet. Let's see on this one. Not on this one. Just a little bit do I see it on this one. Now this side is crackling away. You gotta get it in the right light to see it. But when I get this all dry and it's crackled, I'll show you. Yes, you're gonna love it, y'all. And when I ordered it from TH Decor, it came really quickly. See, it's just starting to crackle up here. I see a little bit of crack starting to form here. got to get it in the right glare of the right light. I promise you guys will like it. It's going to be really cute. So just keep going and you can see it. Oh, it's just starting to crackle on the bunny now. See, I don't know the magic behind it, but it's so cool.
Um, it's totally dazzled. Um, I do not flip my camera, Betsy. It makes me poopy for Cocoa Puffs. I like the mirrored version of myself. If I flip it, then I'm backwards and I, it gives me like vertigo. It's crazy. All right, it's just, oh, it's got beautiful crackle, y'all. It's coming along. You can leave it to air dry too, yes. You do not have to use a heat tool. It will it will crackle on its own. I just I don't have time to wait 24 hours. I have I don't I want like what I want what I want right now. I don't let me see if I can it's still not crackle all the way. Let's see if you if you guys can see it. Can you see the crackles? Let me see. Can you see the crackles right there? So see, just barely there, but this isn't what, now see that one needs to dry more. It's not, but do you see the crackles? Yeah, Lucy, I don't want to wait. I want it to, I want it, I want to create something right now. So I'm just going to give it a few more minutes. crackle anymore. I think just as it dries, it crackles. But these are going to be really pretty crackles. I want it now, Trace. Heck yeah. It's hard to see that one. That looks good. This looks good. Look at it's hot. This side looks great, and this is all crackled as well. I know when you're done. No, you don't need to seal it again because it's a. Uh, it, you're going to love, love, love the shine on this. All right, so I think we're done. And the only thing that I sometimes do is I'll hit it with some cool air, like with a fan. Just because we've been putting heat on it for so long, it gets really, really, like, hot. So I like to cool it down. See, that's much better. So it's not as hot. Okay. And as you can see, let me see if you guys can see it again. See all that crackle? All right, now what makes the magic happen even more so, now this is where you can experiment. Um, you can use like dark wax. Let's see what the dark wax looks like. Or you can use like, um, let's see, a, what do I got here? Do I have a paste? I don't want to use anything bright gold. So this is where you can just kind of play around. You can do wax, you can do, I don't want anything real dark. Like this is a patina, a dark brown patina. I don't know if this will be too dark. Let me see. And so, so you could just brush some on there and then wipe it off. Ooh, I kind of like it. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be too dark, I'm kind of digging it. Okay. 
I don't know if I want to do gold. I don't know if I want to do gold. Let's see what it looks like if I do a bigger section. So you brush on your patina, your wax, whatever it is. Let's see. And you buff it out. Do you see all the crackle now? Well, maybe I need to keep going. I wanted it to be subtle. You can do metallics too, but then sometimes the metallics, I'm going to show you experiment. I kind of wanted to give it an aged look, so I didn't really want to do anything like metallic-y bronze. I wanted the focus to be the Easter Bunny. So this is just a patina from Posh Chalk. And when you buff it out, did it really show the crack? It kind of brought up, see, compare, see, look at that. Do you see the crackles compared to that? Now with the other side, we'll do a different color just so you guys can see. So see, it just kind of sticks in the cracks and just brings it out like that. Now, if we were to go in with like a, another color, can you dig it? I'm digging it. Now here, now this is a patina. This is royal gold. So this is like a gold color. Let's see. It's kind of let me just stir it. It's kind of watery. So we'll do another side. Or maybe I'll just go right over. Let's see. Okay. I'm just going to go in. Now we'll do, let's do this side. We'll do this bunny down here. And this is metallic. I want to make sure this rubs off. See, that's stuck on there. I don't know if I like that. Eh. But you can go in with a baby wipe. Okay, so I'm not crazy about that. That was kind of sticky. But here, I, I will go in with that, what, I, what I've used before. Okay, so this gold, I don't know why it's different than that patina, but hang on a second. Um, the Umbra. So this is also from Pentart. This is the wax paste. Now, I'll use this because I've used this before. Um... And this is, looks like this color, like a copper. So we're gonna go back over again and I'll show you what it looks like. So other stuff was almost kind of sticky. You paint it on and then you just buff it out. Now see where I put that other stuff, it wants to stick for some reason. So something was goofy with that last application, but you can just use a, you can use a baby wipe. For some reason it didn't stick down here. See the difference? Okay, so I kind of like that. I guess we could go with the, the Umbra. This is the Pent Art um, antiquing paste, wax paste in the color umbra. It actually looks kind of pretty with it. And you will be left with a shine. Now wait till you see this one. See how all you can see the crackles now? So I wonder if we could do the same thing over here, what we did on this bunny. Let's go back and see. Let's go ahead and fill him in with all of this gold. And I just kind of throw it on any which way. Are you guys digging it? Are you digging it? I have to say, out of everything that I've used so far, this Pentart Wax Paste works the best when dealing with the Pentart Crackle. Now do you see all those crackles? Can you see them even more? See how pretty? And see all that shine? Um, where did my pencil go? My brush. There it is. You digging it? Okay, so now we're gonna do these sides and you're just gonna kind of brush this on and it just sticks in those cracks. But more than anything, you get like the most beautiful shine. When I say shiny and durable, it's like ceramic shine. Let me buff it out. See, 
from one side that's with no varnish on top and that's with the crackle this is with the this is my favorite the metallic wax paste in the color umbra so now we got our other side to do um, you can get it from my link tree in the TH Decor ATL link on my link tree. It's so cool. I would actually just discover this like a week ago after I did those dogs um, that I sold at auction and unbelievable. And I was like, wait, I have that stuff upstairs. Never even realizing that I had it all along and I was too afraid to try it. Um, but they do have colors available like of that metallic wax paste okay seriously I'll look at it it's so stinking cool now comes the blingy bling bling hello Linda hey Amy right so there you go one side there's the front the other side see how pretty that is and it just kind of fills in all those cracks and then here's the back with all that crackle and that's so pretty and see that shine when I tell you guys it's shiny like shiny and it's durable it's not going anywhere now we get to bring on the bling bring on the bling I'm gonna steal Chris Hunter's uh, saying um, let me just soak my brushes because I gotta go wash my brushes today I keep saying that every day I'm with you guys and I don't but today I really do because I have none, like literally, I have none. And I can't even fit one more down here in my tub. Um, okay, let me throw all this stuff away. Okay, waiting for the, heck yeah, we can't do a, a bling without bling. Okay, so now I wanna use the Totally Dazzled Bling Pack. Now, again, there's only a few of these left so you guys get to getting. Um, I think I want to use rose gold, or not rose, well, we could use rose gold, but they have like these cute little Easter eggs. I kind of want to blend them. I really love the little flower basket, and I'm thinking we could put, you know, down here, because this has kind of like the colors. I like the antique bronze, that's kind of like my color go-to choice. Who doesn't love totally dazzle blank? Look at how pretty this is, see how sparkly? I'm thinking right down here in this corner, we can add some bling, or we could put it up here on his basket. What do you guys, I kind of like it there. Like put it right over his basket that he's holding. Let's go for it. Um, I'm just gonna add some hot glue to where I think it's gonna touch without burning my finger. And we can just add this right here and just going right over his basket that's already there. it's like his little Easter basket I'm just kind of giving a 3d effect now over here there's some flowers we can add let me find over here we can do it a little Easter bunny over here on an Easter bunny there's like little tiny Easter bunnies we can even put one like right up here why not right yeah they're so cute I've been using them a bit um, what about like right up here? We can put like one right up at the top because why not? He needs a little home, right? A little bit of hot glue. Now, if I was going to be selling this or anything like that, not keeping it for me, I would use B7000 glue. Uh, but just the fact that I'm keeping it here, I'm just going to use um, hot glue. So see, we added a little blingy bling bling right there because you can make it whatever you want. I know I love embellishing the best. Um, now I like to put bling on all sides. So over here, there's more flowers. I'm thinking maybe a little Easter. How about, this might be cute. So this has like a little wagon over here. We can maybe do um, a little Easter bunny head, like he's popping up out of the flowers. You know, I kind of like that. See, I just do weird things. I just make it however I want. But none of my 99.99% of my projects get bling. 
and it doesn't feel complete without bling. And Totally Dazzled is definitely my go-to choice. See? How stinking cute is that? Embellishing is, for me, that's like all about, I know it was like a long process, but this is what makes it, and this is what really makes it for me, is what makes it like interesting and unique. So now we can do something over here. We can even put a little totally, you know what would be cute? Hold on. Let me get out my bows and bling. I think a little tiny, what is that little tiny bow? It's a little tiny bow. Is this the one I was thinking of? A little tiny bow for this little Easter bunny. That might be too big. I thought I had a smaller bow. Let me see. That might be the tiny one I'm thinking of. Mm. Nope, there it is. See, I knew there was a smaller one. Yes, this is the one I'm looking for. I don't know that I have it in rose gold, but in silver. This is rose gold. That would definitely work on here. So all I'm doing is using one of the from the bow bling pack. Little tiny bow. I think would be cute, like right here, like he's got a little bow tie on. The other bunny could get a crown. We could use a crown for sure. Crowns are always a good thing. I'm a big crown girl. I'm gonna put this little bow right here on his neck. See? So you can just embellish however you want. You love how my brain works. Um, and then this side, we need something over here. And you know what I think we need over here? We can even take this little like Easter egg, or we could take, let's see what else we got. Um, like that's too white. I think I wanna do, oh, we got little carrots. Um, I kind of like this little bunny. I think we're going to put him on the other, the only side we have left to do. Like somewhere over here, like maybe down here, he's just, you know, staring into the little flower bowl. Okay, let's see, a little bit of glue there. Okay. Don't want to burn myself, so I'm thinking just like here. He's just perched in there, smelling a flower. See how he's just smelling? He's going in to smell a little flower right there. And then you can add whatever. We could do a butterfly. You can do some, we could do a crown up here on him. I mean, we could try it, right? I have a little crown that might work perfectly for Mr. Bunny because I'm all about putting crowns on everything. This is a totally dazzled crown. You need some spackles. I still have one more name to choose, so. Um, or we can do an even tinier crown, or we can go big. Or we can do this, I kinda like the tiny one. Mm, no, I like big. Go big or go home, right? That's what I say. Let's see what else we got. That's, too, well, that's a little too big. I kind of like this one, so I'm gonna go in with this one and see if I can flatten it out some. There we go. Sometimes you could kind of bend these, and we're gonna go in. Um, so see how you can just, by adding a little bit to it, you're just going above and beyond a little bit. It's kind of like how my philosophy is. Don't just stop at the decoupage paper. Keep going with the bling, because that's what makes it stinking adorable. And says, you know. Okay, now I think we're finished. Now see, you could even take some gold rub and buff around the edges, but I don't think so because we did that, that patina with the pen art and it just kind of, it blends beautifully, but there you go. Look at how cute. We got a little bunny sticking up out of the wagon there. He's got a little bow blingy. We could put a little butterfly up here. Hold on, because you know, see, I just keep going and going and going. Um, but let me see, I think a cute little, oh, how about a bumblebee? A cute little bumblebee 
could be flying around up here in these flowers. So just, you know, keep going. Okay, now I'll show you the finale. Okay, um, look how cute, see? There's your little bunny. But you can do like butterflies, you can add as much as you want. And the bow, I put a little bee up here. Um, and then I did a little bunny rabbit smell in the flowers over here. I could do a butterfly over here on top of this one. So there's a lot. You can add, you know, um, the from the Ultimate Rhinestone Applicator Kit, you can like bling out his eyes. I might add something here, but, um, and then up top I added the little bunny right there. And it's so cute. Yeah, so I'm gonna use this for Easter dinner. Easter! I hope you guys enjoyed it though. Seriously, it's so stinking cute. Um, I have one more name. So I'm going to scroll and scroll. Bumblebee for the win. You guys like it? Um, Barbara Myrick Jax. Barbara Myrick Jax. You are my third name. Make sure you email hello at totallydazzle.com and um, they will send you some, make sure you send them your mailing address. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my project today, my Easter knife block makeover um, for your entertainment. And I hope I inspired you to say sparkly. You guys have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. I am here on Totally Dazzled every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern. And I will see you guys next week here on Totally Dazzled. And until then, check out my page and I'm always crafting over there too. Much love to you all. Thank you so much, Natalie. I'll see you guys later. Bye.